This morning we're going to demonstrate the Aspidispa ribbon. It, com it comes in seven colors. Of course, the green is the most common. And it comes in the pink, the red, the brown, the metallics of the silver and the gold, and then the one that's two-toned, almost like a tie leaf with a little burgundy in it. Um, there is a show special on it. You can check with the Jacobson's booth on the, the pricing on it. It does come 50 yards to the roll, but I believe it works down to being about a dollar a yard, so it's actually pretty reasonable. One of the easiest techniques to do is to make like a, a bear grass out of it so you can just have it cascading out of your vases or have it come out and around your vases, but to show that you can rip it in different sizes and different widths for whatever method that you need to be using it for. I'm going to just do a quick hand tie, but showing that how you can make like just little loops and little puffs to do a hand tie bouquet using, because the green gets so commonly used, but trying to use up the other pink colors, like the pink will be great for the springtime. The silver, the metallics will always be great at the holiday times for Christmas. So I'm just going to do a little hand tie for you. size 40, but you can split it, split it yeah. to whatever widths. So like on this kind of base, I made it narrower, and it doesn't fray. When you put it in water, it's color fast. The color doesn't bleed out. It doesn't get slimy like a foliage leaf will. Keeps your water clear, so the flowers will last a little longer. Um, so it has a lot of multiple uses. On those two bases, I did do double face, but the U blue it would be better because it's clear. You won't see it on the inside. Angel hair bullion. It just gives it a different texture, so it's just not all one yeah. type. You can use that as like a basing. So the green, it definitely would be more suitable for like prom, uh, bridal work or even little flower girls. What I did on this, I just took a paper punch and then the flat aluminum wire and then you can so different um, decorated techniques or different wreaths or different ribbons or whatever you might be doing. The colors you can mix like like the pink with the fuchsia and just get a little more pop on your color so you have more versatility and the same with the metallics for Christmas time you put a little more glitter you could even
with the metallics put like a, a sparkle or a glittered wide with it rather than just the subtle flat colors. So it just gives it a little more body and a little more length and it'll hold your form better. This is one of the most common uses to wrap it on the outside or wrap it on the inside. It just enhances just a plain glass container. Do you glue it when you put it on the inside also? You do not. Your stems will hold it in place. Like it said, um, the green is the most common, but if you start using some of the deco colors, I think it just be. It has so many different uses that you could do with it. It does tend to have a little static cling, so like if you, it'll pick up like the dust on your bench or your counter. Um, and to stop the static cling, if you just mist it with just a spray bottle, the cling will go away and then the dust will come off. That's cool. You can even lace it and then use this so it's less, not as heavy looking as the thicker loops. And it just gives you a little more delicate. This would be great for like little uh, flower girls to make it a little more frilly and flouncy and bouncy. Because little girls like all this little stuff. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's alright.